Hey everyone, and welcome back to Gearblocks. In this little series of videos, I thought I would try and make a Jeep. Um, last video, I kind of started the body, or the tub, and I was kind of thinking back, and I realized that these were potentially a little too high, but this doesn't really have to be perfect. However, it should be in line with the rear end, or the back of it, so I'm going to drop these down by one right away. Like so, and then I will stick that back on, as the hood has a little bit of a bend in it. Hopefully I can recreate that with panels and stuff the way it is. Um, and then I have to bring this back somehow. I should just use a normal uh, beam like that part, so I'm going to get rid of these. That should be one beam, so I can just copy that and put it here and here. So, and then, yeah, there we go. Grab another beam. Oops, that's the wrong one. This one. And that should be the right height, which it is. I can just bring this back. So, and then I can adjust the length in a moment. I'm still not sure what wheels I want to use exactly, but oh well. Um, I'll also probably wait to finish the floor until I have the um, chassis and coilovers in it. So, I need to do, do, do. I'm just trying to think of the front end because this isn't quite the right shape. And this pillar also goes up to the roof line. So, I need to figure out how I'm going to do the roof, which I could just bring up from there. Yes, I can. Interesting, okay. That should work. I will forget what button does what, like usual. And it's a bit far forwards, but that's okay. It's not, it doesn't need to be perfect. Not for this one. This is the first kind of Jeep style thingy that I'm building. As I've mentioned in the other videos, these are the only two vehicles I've built from scratch so far, and then this one I just modified. So, still kind of getting used to it. And it's a Jeep-like SUV, it's not supposed to be perfectly like a Jeep. I should make the windshield steeper though, like a Jeep has. It's probably Still not quite steep enough, but it'll do. Bring that down. So, um, I'm going to shorten these. Oh, there we go. So I can bring this all the way down. Hopefully. Copy that, put it here. That one, put it over here. Copy that and stick it right there. Now I need to move this so that it actually attaches properly which it's not quite going to do now with the location of things, but that's fine. As I just mentioned, I'm not trying to make it like super perfect. I'm also going to make it one lower. Two, whoops, where'd it go? There we go. Shorten those by one, bring this down. Oops, I guess I should adjust this first. All 
Alrighty, there we go. And then, instead of going back, I should probably just use one and go across. Because the roof should be able to come off. Why is it doing that? There we go. And then I should be able to just kind of stick the roof on. Alright, I will lock these into place again. Go. And then unlock these. So I can bring them up to the roof height. Right about there. They aren't quite all the way up to the roof. That should be it. And then I can attach the rear doors to those somehow. I have no idea how I'm going to put the doors on this at the moment. I'll get to that when I get to it. Alright, that looks decent, I guess. Not the greatest, but oh well. Even on Scrap Mechanic, my builds weren't the greatest at first. Um, I'll probably end up using these wheels. But I want to initially size it for those. So, I guess I will stick this near the rear end. So I can get kind of an idea for the wheel well. That should be able to just come down right where it is. And it doesn't come down to there. I believe it just comes down to this floor here. That's up one. And to there. And that should work fine. And then I can just put a, uh, either a beam or one of the L plates on the back here. Actually, this should be the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. That's, um, a little bit off. Oh, because it's an L plate. Um... I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Some of these pieces aren't locked as they should be for some reason, but I'm going to bring this back by one. Yeah, like that is locked somewhere now. There we go. And then... I think that's the longest that one can be, so I'm just going to bring in another one, shorten it, okay. Now I can put this on, and that should now be too long. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of that, and then, <coughs> excuse me. I can instead just put a little block there and there, grab the normal plate, and that should be, yes, okay, that's the right length. And it looks like it comes out the same distance, that should be about three, and that looks like it's about three. Okay. I will lock these again. It's nice being able to lock certain things together because then you can have like the chassis as one piece, the body as one piece, but it can also get kind of confusing. Um, I should make some kind of like wheel well for here. 
I try and go like this. See how this works. It doesn't need to be nearly as wide. Let's go like so. That should be fine, and then I might be able to tuck a plate in there. And then it's just flat all the way back. So I will copy this for now. Go like that. Okay, and then I still need to block off the rear end, which I should grab another one of these. So, and then make it flat. So I'm just going to use a plate for now. Hopefully this works well. And bring it over to the floor. And then, do, 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 do. how am I going to attach this bit? There's going to probably be a little gap like that in the floor, but I'm not too worried about it. I can probably use some more flat pieces to work around it. Yeah, I can put like, because of course. Another one on this side, move it down. And then... If I do a little bit of fendangling, finagling, whatever, probably not the other word I wanted to use at all. I have to move that up a bit. Copy that to this one. That not only gives that a bit more space to mount onto, but it'll allow me to put the other panels on. Like so. Um, I'm going to stick on a tiny plate on the top of this one just to raise up that panel. I'm going to lock these all into place before I forget. Ooh, all those locked. Oops. Now that's all of those. Ooh, did I lock that one? No, I did not. And I'm missing a couple down here, it looked like. Okay, there we go. That's all of those ones, those two, everything for that. And I lock these. They can't go anywhere. Okay. Now, I should be able to take another plate, stick it on there. So. And then take one more plate. Stick it onto that one. Like, so. There we go. Um... I don't really like how it sticks out, though. So... How could I... Can I use the L plate to avoid that? I'm not overly worried about it. So for now, I'm just going to... Copy it over. So, and lock it into place. That's the two points that I need to lock for that one. And that's basically the tub done. Jeep tubs are super simple. Um, I do have to fill in this hole. 
hopefully. I can just kind of go like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eh, this can probably be a tiny bit of a. Ooh, hold on. I might be able to fit this. Nope, I can't put it on that face. Okay. So there is going to be a tiny bit of a gap still, but that's fine for now. I'm not too worried about it. Alright. And then the door hinges and stuff are just simple because they go on the outside. And with it being a Wrangler style, TJ style, I could just leave the doors off of it and it would be fine, but I'm not going to do that. Um, the wheels should also stick out a bit, so I technically could make this a little bit more narrow. This is why you don't lock things right away, so you can kind of edit them. So I'm going to nudge that. Come on. Nudge this over by one. And with this one. And then I can nudge this over by one. And then do, 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 stick that on there. I have to shorten this piece by one. And now it's not going to uh, stick out like that anymore either, which will be nice. Oops, that's not where I want it to go. There we go. Push those over. Push that one over. So. And then I can widen the floor. There we go. Much better. Now there's a little bit more space. Um... I will do the lights kind of last, because they just kind of get stuck on. At least the back ones do. Um, the roof, I should do fairly soon, but I'm more worried about the chassis and stuff at the moment, so I'm going to make sure this is all locked together really quick. I need to relock all this. Okay, that should be fine. So if I click it, up the floor. Now I click it again, and everything glows orange. That's a quick way to just make sure everything is locked together, is click on something. And if it's all orange, it's all selected as one piece. That little lip there is bugging me a little bit, but whatever. Um... I guess I should get started on the chassis. So I will lift this up. And I'm not sure exactly how I want to do the chassis. If I go like this, just stick a beam on the side. Have it come out by a block. That. Oops. Then bring it down. I can bring this to the height where I want the wheels, which is right about there. And then I can use these to hold the wheels in place while I'm doing everything else. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I need 
Axel. Oops. That might be a little too far back, but we'll see. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it doesn't quite stick out far enough. It's because of the shape of the wheel, so I'm going to extend this. And then move this out. Move that out. And then this one. And then this can go over by one more. There we go. Grab another axle. Kind of center it on the rear. Out oh, there, I guess. Make it so I can actually tell where everything is. Yeah, that should be okay. I could probably shorten this a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to. Off, of course. Um, no. I also... Uh, this should be enough room for a little transfer case and stuff. Hopefully. Um, I'd like to use my 3-speed. But I'm going to start with the rear axle. Because it is probably the easiest way to start. And then... I'll do the front axle and make the chassis around all of that. I'm just going to kind of redo this on this side. I'm going to bring the axle all the way across so I can put the other one in in the right spot. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. My body does not like the cold. Alrighty. Oops, I moved the wheel. Okay. And then I gotta do the same for this one. A wheel on this side. Make the bar stick out at least one on either side so it's easy to grab. There we go. And with being able to lock all the things together, if I need to lower or raise the axle, I should be able to easily just lift and lower it. Now, I'm going to select it all, and quickly save it as um, <clears throat> Jeep like SUV for now. Okay. Will my rear axle that I've already made work for this? I have a feeling it might be too big. Get rid of these wheels. It's oops, definitely too wide. So I'm going to narrow the axle shafts, or the housing, all the way down. And then lock it into place. I will get rid of these axles here. And stick this axle through there. Yeah. That's a little too big. But I can work with it. I just move it over a little bit so that the input or the pinion is right in the middle. 
So I can unlock that. I missed out to there. Lock it again. Same with this side. I can move stuff around to get me some more space because I can put these on the back but I need to have a three link with or four link with a pan hard bar. I'm just gonna take this stuff off for now so I can kind of see what I'm doing better. Um, do get rid of all this. That'll give me much, much more space. And then I can move the diff lock down to here. Just have to make this one block smaller. Completely remove this, and then change this out. Um, if I... which way does this go? I'm going to rotate this, so it goes up. And I should be able to stick that there, and either go one block down, Come on. Move. There we go. Okay, that's gonna bind with the uh, housing. So if I go like this, and use slightly bigger gears, those are 12, so if I use 16 tooth gears, ooh, that'll work. Just a simple diff lock, since I'm using the clutch, here, it doesn't work perfectly, but it works well enough. Um, peak torque all the way up, toggle, and then I will change the other settings after. Okay, so now that'll give me some space for the axle to move up. It would be nice to have a little bit more space, but oh well. Um... I'm going to do, do. Where do I want to put the links? I'm also kind of out of time for today. So I'm going to quickly try and figure out where I want to put the suspension. So if I lift this all up a bit more again, put this on the bottom here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I should be able to put this. So, actually, I might want to go in by one. Just because I can't really angle things. So, I'm going to go like this. This is just a quick test before I end the video. I'm going to remove these blocks since I don't need them anymore. There we go. Grab a... Test with a short one first. To see how high that'll be. My lower barrel, small. It's just normal small. There it is, just normal small. Oh, I used the wrong thingy. Okay. Small. Oh. I put that in the middle of compression. I can probably use the medium. So let's switch over to medium, grab the medium piston. Medium barrel. And then give myself one block of compression with more to uh, 
or drop, this should work. And then I can also lift it if need be. I will quickly grab another socket and axle. Put it on the top like that, like so. And then I should be able to just run the, uh, the chassis back, up, and then back. So, I think this will work nicely. Now I just have to figure out what I want to do for the links, which I will probably just attach like somewhere in the same area. I could probably put one here and one up there. So if I go like this, I can put do, do let's use the ball end. So, oh, I hate when it does that. Okay, I'll just load another one. The other ball end there. And then if I use the socket, like so, <clears throat> excuse me, this. Should work. And then I can just use the angled beam to bring it up to the chassis. And then I'll just have to figure out something for the uh, pan hard bar. Or I can partially triangulate it, which I'll probably end up doing. Um, I'll also need to figure out something for the drive shaft so it can go on an angle. But, ooh, I'll get to that in the next episode. I'll probably have to start these completely compressed. So, yeah. I will figure out the next little bit in the next episode. If anyone's got any tips or tricks or anything, something I should try to make this work a little better, absolutely let me know. Um, I'm still kind of learning how the game works. I know how cars work, I'm just learning how to kind of do it in the game. So, if you've already done stuff like this, and you have a little tip or trick, let me know. It'd be kind of helpful. And I'll probably switch this to the outside rather than the inside. But, either way, as always, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.